setback Terminator Dark Fate brought with it at the box office, we have all been wondering if there is ever going to be a sequel to that movie. James Cameron intends for this movie to serve as the beginning of a new Terminator trilogy. And today, we are going to take a first look into the possible seventh film in the franchise and tell you everything we know so far. Introduction Where machines control man's destiny. So far, the Terminator franchise has been as indestructible as the murderous robots that just can't get enough of Sarah Connor. However, after the disappointing Terminator Dark Fate, it looks like Studio Paramount has vanquished the cybernetic threat once and for all. But of course, without a happy ending of any future sequels and adventures, the last three Terminator movies all attempted to push the franchise in new directions and explore the entire scrambled timeline of the franchise with more depth. Terminator Salvation from 2009 saw Christian Bale in the role of young John Connor, with him taking the fight against the machines in the post-apocalypse. The franchise planned to see Bale as part of a new Terminator trilogy. However, the plans for the other two sequels were completely scrapped, which meant that Terminator Genesis rolled around 2015, quickly becoming a soft reboot of the entire franchise, a time when the franchise should have caught it but it seems like the ambition of Paramount Pictures and Skydance Productions was just too overwhelming. To be fair though, the movie played with some fascinating ideas with Amelia Clark, leading the charge this time around. At the time, many fans wondered how John Connor's new status as a T-3000 would affect the world. Well, we never found out because the movie's 440.6 million worldwide box office earnings weren't enough to warrant future films running with this exact idea. Instead, we got another movie, Terminator Dark Fate, which was an even bigger disaster, earning half of its predecessor. As of now, we know that the franchise is going in a new direction, at least with a potential sequel right now called Terminator Dark Fate 2. The story of the second movie might take the entire plot to another level. The first two Terminator movies cemented their place in cinematic history, but it seems like the franchise stumbled after James Cameron's departure. Fortunately, Cameron has returned for Terminator Dark Fate. Now the movie was special, but it could lead to more proactive movies in the future of the series, with that movie only serving as a starting point of what is yet to come. And we can see Cameron's attention to detail in the movie, because if you paid a closer look at the movie, it was a celebration of everything that made the first Terminator movies a success, reuniting with actors Arnold Schwarzenegger and Linda Hamilton, while simultaneously introducing brand new heroes and Terminators. Terminator Dark Fate 2 is not official. James Cameron left the franchise as he didn't control the underlying intellectual property, becoming interested in returning when the Terminator movie rights returned to him. However, when he returned to the franchise, he said that he is not there to only do one movie. Instead, his plan at the time was to do a three-film arc, reinventing the franchise as he goes along. He has already met with writers Sheik Egley and Josh Friedman to work out the overall direction of his plan, and he only needs the green light for which he seems confident and his plan working sometime in the future. Because right now, there is none of it. The troubles that came with his first Terminator movie after his return made this a difficult plan to be realized. But never say never, there might be a confirmation coming overnight. Who knows? The only thing we can do is hope that he gets the green light for a sequel to Terminator Dark Fate, and for all of us to eventually see it when it comes out. Release date. Talk. Talk. As for when the sequel might get released, Given the state that the franchise is in at the moment, it is very difficult to even predict, as there is not much known if there is even going to be a sequel to Terminator Dark Fate. Another detail which we have to know about is how much of the script is complete. Yes, Cameron's direction is partly known, so maybe there are some drafts prepared, but we should not jump to conclusions as of yet. Given this is the case, once the project is officially confirmed, it shouldn't take long for the movie to be made as many of its elements would be ready to be put together. The only thing missing would be the production side of things and the filming scenes of the movie. Production on Terminator Dark Fate began in June 2018, ahead of its November 2020 release. And if a similar timescale is used for the second movie, it means that if we get some news soon, we might be seeing the next Terminator movie, a seventh in line, sometime in 2023. 
However, we will mention this once again, nothing has been officially confirmed, so don't take our word for it just yet. Story. Else is gonna die because of me. Over the years, we saw Cameron talk about the future of the Terminator franchise, and one of the hints he gave to us about what his plan is, is that he had always envisioned Terminator Dark Fate as the passing of the baton to some new stars. And by the end of the film, it is clear who those stars will be. Linda Hamilton can be expected to return as Sarah Connor, but now she is getting to fulfill her destiny, bringing up future human resistance leader Danny Ramos, played by Natalia Reyes in the latest movie. There is no doubt that the future's new AI tyrant, Legion, will stop sending Terminators back in time to kill Danny in an attempt to rewrite history. We can be sure of that. This time, though, Sarah and Danny won't have a warning courtesy of Carl, just like they did before. According to Cameron, his first movie after his return will be a stepping off point for the future of the franchise, with him going even deeper into the exploration of the relationship between the human and the artificial intelligence. I feel that we set the stage or we set the table for that exploration, he explained. And that would take place in a second film and a third film. Cameron added, the latest installment of the franchise introduced itself with one fascinating new idea, with McKenzie's Davis Grace transforming into a powerful cyborg, a blend of human and machine. Presumably, other resistance fighters will have been enhanced the same kind of way, fitting perfectly with Cameron's overarching themes and concepts. His plan, his idea coming to light, and a great way for Terminator Dark Fate to set up a sequel in which this story would go on to be explored even further, with Legion serving as the main villain of the movies to come. One thing we should mention too is that fans might not even want another Terminator movie. It seems apparent that Skynet and the Terminators have finally been defeated, not by John Connor, Sarah Connor, or an alternate timeline T-800, but by the boredom the fans feel after being so tired of watching time-traveling killer robots. Because a lot of fans have expressed their feelings towards the franchise, and they were not furious, but somewhat disappointed in their favorite franchise, as they saw the repetitive factors in the movie. So maybe there are two ways for the franchise's future, a success on Cameron's plan, or no further movies ever coming out. For now, it looks like Terminator 7 isn't going to come to fruition. That is, until someone from the future comes and persuades Paramount and Skydance to revive it and the cycle to start over again. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the entire Terminator franchise and how much did you like the last iteration of it? And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.